Go Sean. Come on. Where is he? How you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Tonight's video is from the archives from last year. It's an EX1900 bucket cylinder rod that the customer brought in. This is one of two cylinders on the machine. Generally, only one ever gets damaged. A number of things could have caused it. We're not 100% sure, but it could just be from general use and it's failed. Um, a truck backed into it. We've seen that before. Um, it's been cutting down a bench and a rock's fallen on it. And so we're just going to show you it has a very, very minor bend in it. So to start the job out, we're going to throw the rod in the machine, we're going to remove the eye from it, we're going to get the eye prepped ready to go to go onto a new rod, we're going to machine up a new rod, fit the eye to it and then weld it out. So we're just going to get into the video of the job and show you how we do it. So I prefer to use a 12 mil button insert for removing eyes. I generally just go straight into the weld, try and remove all the welds and dig all the way into the spigot. Once I locate the spigot, I can then remove the eye from the rod, ready to prep it to go back onto the new rod.
So to answer a couple of questions people ask, um, I prefer to just machine the eye off in the machine rather than cut it off in a saw. Generally when machining through the weld, you're sort of looking for the original spigot that Hitachi used when they uh, put this together. So you just keep machining in straight through the centre of the weld until you find that spigot. The eye had to go back in the machine because it was spinning so far out of centre. All the machining I did would have been offset one, one way. While I had it in the machine I prepped it for weld, put a slight bevel on it all the way through to the spigot and machined it to size. So if you're wondering what the uh, black stuff is on the steady rest, that's actually a cloth tape, also known as 100 mile an hour tape. It's just a cheap, easy way to keep swarf and debris out of your steady rollers. We use the black tape and an O-ring. It seems to be one of the most effective things to use rather than having 300 different size bits of plastic sheet or cardboard for different size rods. This just aids in the protection of the, um, of the chrome, so if you don't, you don't get a bit of swarf in between your rollers and your chrome and put a big dent in it, this is a cheap alternative and it's very, very, very effective. So a few people have commented on how I cut threads, why I don't turn my top slide over X degrees to cut a thread. Um, I was always working in a production shop, so speed was everything. So we just used to advance our cross slide in for each pass and bump the top slide across. Uh, that was how we were taught to do it. If you know your machine well enough, you know how far to bump it for each cut. We end up with the same result that everybody else does, but with half the time. And I don't disengage my half nuts when I'm threading. 
Uh, I was always taught just leave them locked in, back the machine out and reverse it and back to the thread. That way you can never get it wrong. You always know it's going to be right and you always end, end up with a really good product at the end. When it comes to these bigger jobs, uh, some of the hardware that goes along with them is quite expensive. This nut that goes on this rod is about $3,000 to buy new from the OEM. So we take our time when we're getting into the final passes of the thread and we also check it with the nut that is supplied from the customer just to make sure we don't overcut it as some of these nuts are slightly out of shape. So we missed a step in this. The missus wasn't there to film the bit where I uh, machined the end of the rod to put the eye on. So all I did there was spun it in the machine. I drilled a hole in the end, machined it to size. I fitted the eye to the rod. I tacked it on while it was in the machine. And here we've got it set up on our turning rollers to start the welding.
<laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Eye and uh, eat the the bucket silk. The fuck. There are two cylinders that that actually actuate. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> what am I saying? Just do, we're doing it. Doing what? The the video of the job. So we're gonna stop fucking around and go and do this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Do it again. So th although the job was last year, now I'm really enthused about it because it's already finished. So we're just going to get into it six months ago and do it. Do it, do it. Oh, no. <laughs> Ow. What are we doing? For fuck's sake. I can just swim. Did he kill it? Oh, he's already killed it. You already killed the chicken. Don't move, fuck around, chicken.